In 1974, George Lucas defrauded me of Jedi Knights in the Force uh, when I was standing in his cousin's house in Louisville, Kentucky, on the phone with him. He offered to make me rich and famous. If you don't like the truth, you may as well just move on and go pretend to be a Jedi somewhere else because you don't, you're not ready for the truth. Um, I'm, I've been trying to tell the truth for some time about this whole thing. Uh, I started in, nine, in 19, uh, well, 1999 is when I discovered the truth. So technically, I really started trying to get a hold of people in 2000, 2001. I wrote newspapers, uh, Newsweek, George Bush, uh, William Rehnquist when he was in charge of the Supreme Court. Um, not to mention several, several others, Oprah and so forth. And no one was interested in the truth. Um, and they wouldn't even bother to investigate my claim. Nobody has ever done so. And I will tell you, um, I had evidence, a piece of paper, which if you go back and you watch, I first started making videos in 2014. They put an algorithm on them. And if you go back and look to date, they were 2014. They put the algorithm on them. And in those videos, you hear me talking about that piece of paper because at that point, I still thought I had it. And, and it wasn't until four or five years ago, um, around 15, 16, that I discovered I didn't have it anymore. I went into my mother's storage, which is where it was stored. And it was a red sleeve. Me and my brothers each had one. So there was three sleeves. And mine was with them, and mine's gone. And the piece of evidence I had against George Lucas is gone. Um, and that's what the, this, this episode is going to be about, because I, this is some things I, I want to bring out that I haven't talked about really a lot. Um, midi-chlorians. Now, one girl tried to actually argue with me that midi-chlorians, I want, well, uh, uh, <laughs> Obi-Wan was talking about it in the first movie. No, he didn't. That wasn't the first movie. That's where she thinks because they're labeled episode one that that was the first movie. Completely ignorant of history that the first movie released was episode four, A New Hope. And they never mentioned midichlorians. They didn't mention midichlorians in Empire Strikes Back. And they didn't mention midichlorians in Return of the Jedi, which was the third movie. They never mentioned it until they go back and make the first movie. And, and it's and it's ironic because I really started thinking why did he do that I started thinking why did he do that why did he make up this thing called midi calorians between the time the third movie was made and the first because what happened between that time I started coming out and trying to talk to him he threat he made threats to me he tried to have me arrested by the Bedford Ohio Police Department because I, I, I had written letters to him I was getting aggravated because I was like don't you remember you know and uh I really, really never said anything threatening to the man. I wouldn't dare to because I know how the law works. Um, I'm not stupid. I've never been to jail in my life. I don't do things illegal. And I don't make false claims against anyone. That's a biblical no-no to me. The Ten Commandments says, Thou shalt not bear false witness. And and, and I, would, I wouldn't lie about this. I, I, I just wouldn't. It wouldn't be something I would even vaguely think to do. If, if no, it, you know, my claim could be against anybody. I, I, I wouldn't do, I wouldn't do that to anybody unless there was a reason. And the reason is because it is the truth. Um, the very day I was on the phone with the man, I went and played in the backyard with his cousin, the same one who got me there, the one, same one who was at my house bugging me every day. And he almost killed me. And that's how I ended up remembering all this because my mother had a different version of what happened to me that day. And that it wasn't right. I said, that's not what happened. And she didn't know because she wasn't paying attention because of the things that were going on in her life. She didn't realize what had really happened. And my descriptions of things then, I was trying to tell them that's not what happened. And things being said anyway, let's go into another point I haven't mentioned. Why is it that George Lucas sold the franchise to Disney? And then, it's like he's desperately trying to hold on to the control of it. It's like, 
well, why would you even sell it to them in the first place? If you didn't want to relinquish control and you sold it to them, then he called them white slavers. It's actually a video out there. You can go look at it. He calls them white slavers. And it started making me think. Maybe they got my evidence. Do you ever think of that? They blackmailed him into selling them, into selling them the franchise, and uh, blackmailed George into selling them the franchise. So that he's still trying. That's why he's so desperately trying to maintain control of it, because I don't think he really voluntarily sold it to him. And that's why he's, because why else would you, why'd you, why would you want to maintain control of something that you sold? I mean, if I, if I sell you my old car, it's gone. I don't think God, I'm done. You know, and maybe that's a different thing, but that was his legacy. You know, something you should have passed to your children. Now, why would you sell it to someone like Disney anyway? You know, now we're all starting to see how corrupt Disney it really is anyway. So I got all these DVDs from all those movies I watched when I was a child and I just, they make me sick now. Uh, I, 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 I can't imagine because, you know, the thing is, is when all this deal went down between George and Disney, I wrote them letters. They, they never bothered to look into it. I was seven years old when he robbed me, man. Seven years old. But did, did they care about kids? They didn't bother. I was I was a very poor kid, okay? And I'm not, again, I'm going to go over this thing with you one more time, and I'm not going to explain it to you again that I'm not really in this for the money. I want the truth out there. And that's all there is to it. I want the truth. And George is going to have to tell it one day, whether he does it now or when he faces his creator, because all of you will, um, when it comes down to it. You will all face the creator. And, and I truly believe um, now, you know, my dogs, you know, both my dogs passed away. And, and I lost them, and I was, I was just devastated over my dogs. And then my wife died. six months ago so it's something that takes time you know you don't just get over it anyway uh, again with the midichlorians he never mentioned them because he's just trying to make some false connection up now that he had this before you know by putting it in episode one where he never mentioned it in four, five, and six, you know. And uh, again, he still seems to be main, trying to also maintain control of uh, of, uh, of Star Wars. And it's, it's, it's I, I just, I really utterly uh, didn't like Phantom Menace. I, that was the last one I went and seen. And uh, there was something about it I just didn't care for. I didn't like any of the ones he did after the original three. I think he completely went in the wrong direction. And then Disney went even further in the wrong direction. And anybody who likes him now, I don't think you were that big of fans of the first three. And that's, that's the thing. I loved all the movies up to that, uh, you know, the first three. And then Phantom Menace was, man, you know, um, you know, my whole point is, you know, I've been trying to tell the truth. Um, they censored my videos on uh, YouTube. Um, one of my videos had hit 49,500 and something views in within about a month. And then it took it five years to hit 50,000. That's only 400 and something views. But how did it hit 49,500 in a month and then only hit 400 views in five years? That should tell you something there. 
they've been trying to keep me from telling the truth and they've been trying to keep the truth from out of here. So I've been being out, uh, under uh, censored longer than most of you have. And I've, uh, I've dealt with uh, trying to get the truth out, you know. So patriots come in all shapes and sizes. And this is a truth everyone should know. And, and, and whether you believe it, that's, all, that's, that's purely on you. Because right now, I don't have the evidence to prove it. I have circumstantial evidence. I've put all of it in other videos. I've shown you the letters I wrote to news, uh, the return letters I got from Newsweek and all that from back in 2000, 2001. I've shown you the letters I got back uh, or the letters I sent to Bush. Um, I've, so, I've shown you where he tried to have me arrested. I've, try, I've shown you letters I got back from Lucasfilm telling me to stop talking. I'm not going to stop talking. You know, that's the thing you can understand now. Um, it will come to this. I will not stop telling the truth until they kill me. And, and, and if they kill me, then they will, I'm sure they'll find the wrath of God sooner than they think, you know. Again, I, as I tried to explain in my last video, I just did. Um, I almost died a few times. They shot the spinal block when they, uh, when I was being born, threw my mother into me. So that was the first time I came close to death. Then I pulled a coffee percolator down on me. That's twice. Almost fell out of a window. That's three times <laughs> before I ever hit two years old. So, I mean, I, you know, you can believe what you want. I, I, I think I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for God's grace. And, uh, you know, for everyone to be so... I, I, I've been viciously attacked by some people when I tried to tell them the truth about Star Wars and George Lucas. And they get, they get really mad about it. And I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you don't like the truth. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings. I can't help you. Your your arguments with God, not mine. It's not with me. Um, my arguments with that man, because he made a he made a, a, a he specifically told me, and this is one of the few things I barely remember, and I barely remember the conversation. And he sit and told me, "I'll make you rich and famous," you know, kind of. Finding out and then find, trying to find out who, who knew about it. That's the two things I vaguely remember from that conversation that we had on the phone in Jack Hamburger's kitchen in 1974, right before he ki almost killed me. Jack Hamburger almost killed me in his backyard with a piece of rebar. I'm not going into that either. It's also in the last video, and it's also in all the other videos I've talked about it several times. Um, the boy almost killed me with a piece of rebar. You know, simple. My mom didn't realize, and she wasn't paying attention, that I had run in the door with it already done. And then I picked up a stick, and she thought I fell on the stick. So that's not what happened. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to end this video here and leave you all with the truth, man. The truth is all there is. It's all there is. You, if you don't have the truth, you don't have anything. One more little quick note. Um, I was banned from Twitter not long after AJ and they made up an excuse why they banned me and I had hit over 20,000 followers and was adding thousands of people like you know a week I was just like constantly adding people so I really probably was close to 30,000 followers and then they banned me they started shadow banning me and taking my followers first and I kept adding more and more and more they got me down to 12,000 and then, then, then I kept adding them so much, I guess they gave up trying to do it that way. And then they banned me and said I was targeting certain groups. Okay, here's the first problem with that. I never, ever once went onto a liberal person's tweet and, and attacked them, ever. Never happened. So wouldn't that eliminate the whole idea of targeting someone? I never targeted anyone. All I did was talk to people who were who shared the same views as me and I talked to them and then we would get attacked and I would defend myself and I would explain to them whether they were wrong. It, it didn't, it didn't set well with them, I guess, because then they finally just banned me. But I don't really think that was the real reason Twitter banned me. I think they banned me because I was, they were waiting, they were thinking I was waiting till I got like maybe a million followers and then I dropped the truth bomb about George Lucas on them and then a million people would know. I think that's what they were really scared of. Anyway, um, take care.